About 60 miles outside of Atlanta is Dalton, Georgia. This small town is home to a young woman who has beaten the odds on more than one occasion, thanks to the game she loves. My shins were all red, and just touching them made it feel like there were needles in my skin. We have seen the nurse practitioner and, and uh, asked for blood work, and um, Tom called the house about 6.30. He said, Lewis, you need to have Turner at the pediatrician's office when they open this morning. And I said, um, what's going on? He said, um, he said, I think Turner has leukemia. The thing that I do remember the most is Dr. Bokta telling us and telling my parents as we're trying to wipe the tears away um, that, you know, we are going to take care of your daughter. She looked at Lewis and I and she said, Mom and Dad, y'all need to stop crying. You heard Dr. Botka, he said he's going to take care of me. At age 12, Turner Fordham, a two-sport athlete, was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. She underwent 30 months of radiation and chemotherapy. Turner moved on to high school, and eventually her cancer went into remission, though the disease had weakened her immune system and robbed her of her strength. That's when she, knowing that she couldn't play softball or basketball, started asking about playing golf. Golf gave me a reason to kind of keep being positive. It fit right in to the time in my life that I was going through. She would go to the doctor and in the mornings, and she'd come out here in the afternoons, and it was her place to have a little more fun and make life a little better. You see the glow in her eyes. You see the life in her and the fight in her, too. You could also tell that she had been through worse struggles than struggles on a golf course. Turner's game progressed to the point where she and her teammates at Northwest Whitfield High School won the 4A state championship. She could have gone on to college to play golf, but Turner's heart was set on the University of Georgia, her parents' alma mater. This was her second checkup of the year, and it was at Thanksgiving, and it was just a routine checkup. It was scheduled for when she was home for the winter break. I knew right away before they even told me that they were going to tell me that it was for sure I had relapsed. It felt like the world was closing in. It's hard to think it could be more devastating than the first time, but it really was. It just really scared us to death. It literally was just like I had just been punched, like, some, like I had just walked back into a brick wall. My life, once again, was going to be put on hold for a little while. You just feel helpless. You feel as if uh, you have uh, failed. But one has to look at the uh, positive side, work towards a win. Turner is winning. Her leukemia is in remission. Every month, she comes back to T.C. Thompson Children's Hospital in Chattanooga to continue her treatment. Well, I got your counts, okay. and they look great. Thank okay, you. So uh, we're consistently right where we want it to be. She has a good chance of beating the odds. She sets an example to me, you know, that, uh, that I can't give up a fight. I look forward to, you know, getting to spend every day of my life on the golf course. I mean, how awesome is that? I honestly feel like it has made me a stronger person. Feel blessed that I have overcome and beat cancer twice. And so it's definitely not something scary. It's not something that I can't handle anymore. Though my game hasn't quite reached the level I've dreamed of, I know I'll play golf forever. I've already won the most important competition of my life. When we return, the inspiring story of a United States Marine's journey to the game of golf. 